Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get started tonight. We're gonna be doing some more... We're gonna be watching the Pokemon Direct. Unfortunately, I was not able to avoid spoilers with it, because I... With the Direct, um... Uh, like, I already know about pro what's probably the biggest announcement due to not only YouTube, but... Also, I literally opened Twitter today, and, like, the... Th I think it was the third post that I saw was just about the Pokemon Direct. <laughs> and I read really quickly, so... Like, <laughs> like... Like, if I get a YouTube notification and I click on here, in the time it takes me to click on, a, on and click off, sudden, I, I've already read the top notification. Um... Anyway, we're gonna be doing the Pokemon Direct. I, I should have full screen that to begin with, but, uh, we're gonna be, uh, so let's see what, uh, what they have coming up. Got to change my category. Sense, Hello Pokemon everyone, direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27, is Pokemon Day. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan. Our adventures with Pokemon, which started with the simple fun of collecting, trading, and battling in the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games, have expanded to fit into so many facets of daily life, including walking and sleeping. We'll keep challenging ourselves to create new ways to enjoy Pokemon, and we hope you'll continue your adventures with us. Today, we will be bringing you all the latest news about Pokemon, including our newest titles. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Hello, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. I hope everyone has enjoyed their adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games so far. To commemorate to Pokemon Violet. Day, we've planned a series of Terra Raid battle events where you'll be able to face off against a mighty Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. The first of these Terra Raid battle events will begin tomorrow. We hope you will all enjoy these raids. Today, I'd also like to share the latest updates on a number of our other games. Please have a look at this. A collaboration event with Pokemon Go is on its way. Pokemon Go and Pokemon Horizons, huh? Nico and Sprigatito. Roy and Poikoko. Pikachu wearing Cap's hat is making its debut. It even knows an attack new to Pokemon Go, Volt Tackle. And Cerulege and... Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are coming too. Oh, and Liko and Roy well. will be dropping in when you snap a pick and go snapshot. So set out on an adventure with your new friends. Oh, they're not using them as... Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Masters DI, or Masters, or whatever. I was say, oh, they're not using them as trainers? That's interesting, but no, that's... Wrong game, wrong game. <laughs> There's so many spells. Right, you and Pokemon sleep? I'm not even gonna I haven't been playing Pokemon Sleep. I I played it for a little bit when it first came out, but it's it's just so much extra work. Now, me, I but, never give up. Yeah. <laughs> We're just getting started. 
We're the greatest in the world. You're the greatest and strongest partner I could ask for. Fight! Interesting. All right, I'm going to pause right there. That's interesting because that is canonically the rival from Gold and Silver and canonically that his name is Silver, so it's really weird that he has Ho-Oh. Silver and Tyranitar are champion. Silver was never a champion. That okay, that's another interesting thing. Silver was never never made championship. He loses his uh in like after Victory Road, I uh after the Victory Road rival fight, I don't think he ever appears again. At least not in the games. It could be based off of a manga appearance. Or a manga event. I think Gimmick was the only new one, right? Pokemon Unite. Ride right on. It looks like Draco Meteor. Phalanx. Moving on, please have a look at this video. Oh, Pokemon TCG, but a mobile version? They did make a TCG card game way back in, like, the 90s. Uh, so far, it looks like it's just card collecting. It is a full on, the full on game. Play the card game. You can go on TCG experience. You know, I've always I've wondered when they were gonna do something like this. Um, because like obviously, ooh, this okay, this is really cool. You can actually like look in and explore the cards or something like that. Cards per day at no cost. So I have wondered when they were going to do something like that because, um, obviously Pokemon TCG is really popular for, if not for people to th that actually play the TCG, but just as people who like Pokemon to collect the cards. Uh, unfortunately, all of my cards got destroyed several years ago. Um, 
due to a not due to a tornado uh assuming they weren't uh, well, assuming any of them weren't destroyed they were blown away with the tornado obviously um but uh yeah <laughs> but i haven't gotten back into collecting pokemon cards after that because it's like it's honestly just too much money for me to really care at this point and i'll uh, also just not caring in general since my since all my old cards got destroyed it was the same with my Yu-Gi-Oh cards which you know so it's <laughs> it's like it's like i started it's like i collected them when i was younger and then they all got destroyed and now it's just like well nothing i can do about that Time to just move on and find a different hobby, I guess. What you just saw was the world's first look at Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996, but in a new digital format. The Pokemon Company is developing this game as a three-party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon Trading Card Game, and DNA are partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. To mark the launch of this title, here's a message from Mr. Yuji Kitano, President and CEO of Creatures. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Hello everyone, I'm Yuji Kitano from Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon Trading Card Game. With Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, we hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, so we are hard at work developing digital cards. When we develop physical cards, we strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and printing process. Since this game uses mobile devices rather than paper, we're challenging ourselves to express that care in new ways that are only possible digitally such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards, which give players the experience of leaping into the world of the card illustration. What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing battle system, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. Our three companies are all working hard to deliver a fun experience for those of you who already enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, as well as those who've never played before. We hope you look forward to the results of our latest efforts in the world of the Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kitano. We plan to launch Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket within 2024. Please look forward to more details in the future. Just That's kind of a big project, because I imagine they don't want to release it without having all current renditions of cards available, basically. Aside from, you know, maybe banned cards, or, you know, cards that are illegal to use in competitive play. You know, maybe they're or in, uh the TCG, maybe they're a little less, um, maybe they're a little less of a priority, uh, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of stuff like Ancient Mew, where it's just flat, plain illegal to play it due to, like, the card itself having a weird font or something like that. Just one more thing. Or having, like, an illegible font, I should say. We'd like to end today's presentation with one final video for you all. Really? It's... there's still... two and a half minutes left in this presentation. Thank you for tuning in. This must be a full trailer, then. Hold on. S-O-E-Y-U... S O E Y U E
I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> And here's the big announcement that I got spoiled on immediately as soon as the game, or the day started. Confidential. A vision of beautiful coexistence between people and Pokemon. Oh my gosh, we're getting Pokemon Neon version! Okay, that's Lumio. That's Lumio City. Yep, Lumio City. We're gonna rede redevelopment plan for Lumio City. Interesting. Pokemon Legends Z? C to A. Listening simultaneously in 2025. So they're coming up with a rival for Zygarde, it sounds like. Oh, Mega's coming back. Neat. You know, ignoring the past, like, four generations where they tried to actually get, uh... Four, no, three generations where they tried to basically undo the damage caused by... Where they basically tried to undo the com damage to com the competitive scene caused by Megas. And now they have released... Now that... Now that the power creep has... Included the Paradox Pokemon that are all basically... That are all basically just shy of pseudo-legends... Now they're like, well, we should need to reintroduce Megas, I guess. So the existing Pokemon have a chance. Anyway. Done with that. Bye, YouTube.